Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for spending some time with me today here on the channel. Today I'm in Nampa, Idaho visiting United Family Homes and if you're in the market for a single wide, I might have just found one for you. This one right here is an exceptional single wide that even has some loft storage. So, let's get going. I'm going to tell you all about it. I hope everyone out there is having an amazing day wherever you are. Today, like I said, I am here at United Family Homes in Nampa, Idaho, and just take a look at this single wide. I mean, I love the two-tone color scheme on this, the big windows right there on that porch. That porch, you know, the size of that porch is 8 feet by 14 feet 9 inches that is huge and right over here you see more windows and look right there that is where your loft is up there so you have some storage capabilities we're going to check out when we go in but this right here is the Cedar Canyon LS2071 this is about the fourth version of it built, built by Kit Custom Home Builders it is a two bed one bath sitting at 660 square feet but with the porch it makes it 778 square feet the starting price for this is about $78,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? As you can see walking in today, everyone, this home is not staged or furnished, but I really wanted to show you this home because I thought it was actually rather unique, you know, especially with the loft storage upstairs that you don't usually have in a home like this. And this is just a cool little single wide. I mean, take a look, we're gonna spin around. I love the light wood in the home uh, in contrast to the dark wood. And look at that window, that is a gorgeous but before we get any further do me a favor hit that like button let us know we're doing something good and it also helps out the channel and if you haven't done so already how about hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted you'll be able to follow along and see all of these home tours as I capture them so let's go check out this kitchen here and like I said we have this kind of like a knotty pine like a light wood I like it and this home as you see there's not really much room for a uh, dining area but the cool thing is is that whole counter is kind of is, is an eat-in counter and you can easily use that I'm loving this big inset sink right here with that pull down faucet that's really nice and of course that window right there it does open which is even better so taking a look at the inside of the cupboards here and the cabinets you can see quality great construction real wood on the outside and we have a white color on the inside which I think is really cool as you can see as well we have the uh, stainless steel package here um, and we have the glass top stove and oven right there with the microwave range hood and nice French door refrigerator with your water um, and ice maker in there that's really cool and I mean take a look we have you know plenty of storage in this home it is a small home so I give kudos so far to what we have um, what do you guys think let me know in those comments below but you know I really like I was saying I love this light contrast you know this wood light wood in contrast to the wood outside it really kind of gives it a nice rustic feel let's go further down to this home now you see on the right hand side here we have a transom window down the hallway which is always appreciated and now we're going to walk into this restroom which actually surprised me um i love what they're doing here um with the restrooms and the way they build their homes it's innovative in my opinion i mean i love the uh, the glass blocks there really nice big shower again plenty of storage over here and this is where your stackable washer and dryer would go in your home uh, there's the water shutoff valve right there on the right hand side but everything is right here now depending on what you would like um you know being an actual you know laundry room or here i personally in a home like this would rather have it here because we are saving so much space you know in the home to me it just makes sense um what are your thoughts let me know now let's check out this uh, this shower here i mean this beautifully tiled shower um it is just gorgeous and we have a rain shower head in here um, like I said I love the glass blocks over there really well constructed we have a, uh, a little tiny bench right there that you can uh, have a seat or store your shampoo if you need to you know but I mean look at that that is just nice good construction um, nice style nice design 
Spinning around over here, you have the same, you know, wood tone for your vanity and your uh, mirrors, which is cool. Um, this is really nice, and and that transom window even you know helps let some natural light into that uh, bathroom, which is cool in my opinion. And now let's keep going down this hallway right here. As you see, that is where your air conditioning unit would be, or your HVAC. Um, and then we're gonna skip this room and show you where your electrical panel is, which I like it because it looks like another cupboard. You don't know it's an electrical panel. And now going into the first bedroom. Now the first bedroom is is in my opinion rather small um, you know the size of this room is nine feet four inches by ten feet four inches which you know doesn't sound small but when you look over here and you take a look at where your water access is that's it right there and then when you need to get upstairs you have to pull down um, the ladder you just have to keep that in mind when you're when you're creating you know your space in this room like personally I would use this as an office because then that would make everything you know easier for me to access the top and to kind of keep everything away from you know that ladder um, and the water access nice size closet here there's another um, I think that's another shutoff valve or something right there um, but so far pretty good now this of course flips up puts up it's really nice it's um it's functional it's functional and it's not that big it is a tight spot so you know just be careful when you go up, I figured that one out rather quickly. Uh, but let's take a look up here. The clearance up here from the side walls is about two feet. Um, and then it goes up to about like three and a half, four feet. A decent amount of uh, room up here. You know, what you could also do is, as I just thought about it, um, and there's all of your uh, your things that goes with the home. There's your insulation. Is You know, what if you put a, a, your bed up here? You know what I mean? And um, kept your stuff down there. That might work out pretty well, too, if you consider, you know, um, the space up here and the space down there. So just a thought. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know. And see, that same wood that's in that construction is the same wood that is, you know, circling your doors. So good quality construction in this home so far. And now we are going to come and check out the uh, primary room here. As you can see, nice uh, big vaulted ceiling, seven and a half foot side walls all the way up. Um, it's looking really nice. The size of the primary is nine feet, five inches by 13 feet, um, nine inches, which is actually a pretty decent amount of space. Um, and then of course, you know, with the, with the vaulted ceilings here, it really makes it feel bigger than what it really is. So that's always a nice thing as well. Taking a look, you have a bigger closet in this room, of course. Um, good shelving. We have a nice uh, coat rod in there. Looking really nice. And a big window to let that natural light in, which is cool. But this home, actually, I thought it was just unique. It's different. That's the thing about kits, is their homes are a little different. They're built up in the Pacific Northwest in that general area, so they build and cater to that area. And this home, honestly, I dug it. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And you know what? I forgot to mention that this living room size is 9 feet by 13 feet, nine inches. But thank you again, everybody, for joining me today on Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. I truly appreciate everyone's time, support, and everything else. But, you know, until next time I see you, remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, and as always, travel easy.